All right, guys, today we're going over how to work hip internal rotation while in hip extension. So hip extension, once again, is a range of motion where our knee travels behind the hip. So uh, while you're running, for example, that's a hip extension movement. While you're uh, jumping, when the, essentially the opposite of knee flexion. So knee flexion is the knee going towards the, the chest. Hip extension would be the inverse of that. So uh, hip extension is when we are open, fully open. So one way we can do that is lay down on our stomach. So I'm going to use this band here to help me out. So I'm lay down on my stomach. I'm going to put this band around this angle like so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to brace my core and make it super tight. I'm going to squeeze my glute and then I'm going to try to essentially pull, oh I'm cramping already, pull my foot away from me to internally rotate. As the foot comes back in, this is what you would call external rotation. So in this position, once again, working hip internal rotation and hip extension. What's really important before I begin this movement, I squeeze my glute on this side and then I internally rotate and it's really going to make it work. If I don't squeeze my glute, I have the chance that I might throw into my low back, which would be painful and possibly cause some discomfort. So that's one angle. Let me show you guys from a different one. Uh, ah. So once again, laying down, I'm going to squeeze my glute. Try to tilt my leg this way. Really squeezing my glute while I do this. You're not going to need a big band for this, guys. A small band like this one will do just fine. Mm. Yeah, guys, so that's uh, internal rotation in hip extension. A lot of internal rotation drills that people practice and teach are in hip flexion, but internal rotation is a way we can extend the hip, which is uh, necessary for all athletic movements. If you're trying to be a better runner, if you're trying to be more explosive, if you're trying to um, perform at a higher level, like do an athletic based or oriented movement, internal rotation in hip extension should probably be your focus, not in hip flexion, unless you lack like a mobility range. But yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, give me that thumbs up. Um, if you have a question about hip internal rotation or any other ranges of motion and or movements, go ahead and leave that in the comments. And of course, if you haven't yet, subscribe to my YouTube channel.